You love getting new metal music before everyone else, don't you? In the next 60 seconds, I'll hook you up with a brand new metal album to show off. But at the end of the show, I'll drop a second album for the true fans of metal. Terry here again, guiding metal music defenders like you to the newest metal music. FMR covers all the stuff here on the list. I review, analyze, and break down the newest extreme releases from my weekly chart so you get the best new metal daily. Maybe In Another Life by Bloom is your new album today. Up for a fresh full metal review. Let's break this guy down. I see that there are 10 strong sounding tracks totaling 30 minutes when I open up my Apple Music page. The album cover artwork, as you can see, it's black and white. It has no fonts. I added them up there for you. And I was attracted to it immediately thanks to the artist. Classified in Apple Music as metal only. Between that rating, the album artwork, and the song titles, I'm going to visualize something hopefully heavy. My genre description now is hardcore. We'll see in the end, though, during my reveal. Track one, it opens with a soft, acoustic, haunting entry point. Track two, it smashes open hard with nice, deep harmonies, melodies, and powerful metalcore sounds with energetic clean and fry vocals and nice guitar riff work. Track three, it's a hard charger again with nice melodies, rhythm and harmonies. It's got big, crunchy guitars, thick bass, super energetic percussion work on growling vocals. I can really feel the vocals here, and it's very interesting at this point. Track four, it's very heavy, deep and powerful with exceptional vocal conviction. I'm actually riveted to it at this point, like a good movie. Track five, it's a more ballad-like number with deeply emotional feeling instrumental work and vocals. And the rest of the album, it was very emotional. I sense at this point that this man actually has emotional things going on personally. The content will be relatable to a lot of people who listen to this album, and the musicality here is superb all the way through. In summary, I find that there are some very pop-relatable elements embedded into a metalcore, hardcore sound. The recording no overall sound quality was professional and clean. The production and musicality was refined, in my opinion. I rate the overall levels of rhythm and tempo in the midway uh, level five area, while the harmonies and melodies, I gave them an eight because they were more present in this album. The lyrical theme I find is more emotional, relatable to everyday life. Becoming a mainstream or radio act here is likely. It's, it's a possibility. I don't listen to much radio anymore, but I'm guessing that these guys here are mainstream. Range, flow, and layout of the album Seems scattered. The tracks are arranged awkwardly. And uh, this is because I found that there are multiple ballad-like tracks here. I describe the vocals here as convincingly strong, clean, and fry vocals. The guitars, I can only describe as clean, strong, with nice solos and riff work. The bass section was solid, deep, and present. Finally, the drums and percussion performance was... An excellent sound and performance. It was full from top to bottom with really good snap to the percussions. And I think that it was just raw instruments. There was no samples or sound effects that I could remember during this review. Overall, the energy and intensity here was very high. They remind me of a heavier version of Third Eye Blind, if anyone happens to remember who Third Eye Blind is. Chat GPT, it had nothing on this band Bloom. I rate the temperature here as very cold. The tonality feel was dark and light put together, and the overall color or colors I described are as black and white as the album color cover rather itself. General feeling I had during this session was actually very chilling. It led me to give this album a softer seismic reading of 6.3 because you, you can really feel them. And quite frankly, after I'm done with this album, I'm going to put on something that makes me want to kind of move forward a little wee bit. My predictions from earlier, well, I said metalcore, but finally I reveal that they are 
in fact hardcore, but the official bio did say melodic hardcore. Means I was I was pretty much in the ballpark. My favorite tracks, well, they were all very good musically, but two and three were my favorites. They had a lot of energy to them. Finally, I've decided not to add it to my library. Sorry, Bloom, I'm just into more positive lyrics. Lastly, though, stream them for yourself, okay? And that is it for another episode of FMR, and I'm going to dig into my treasure chest here. And I'm going to dig out Blood Red Hourglass, How's the Heart? And I'm going to send that out to you. This is my perfect pair for the evening. How's the Heart should perk things up for you quite a bit after you listen to Bloom, I believe. Also, check out yesterday's review of The Other Side of Mars. All right. And I added a second metal goodie here at the end. I added Saxon, Hellfire and Damnation, just for you. Anyway, that's it. Remember to support your favorite metal artists, everybody. Stream them, engage them on social, buy the merch, see them live if you can, and join me again soon for another episode of FMR. Please hit that subscribe button because metal music matters. And set up your notifications so you can get your new metal albums here first. Cheers, everybody. Have a good night.